I'm going to tell you how we shoot a hockey game at the ACC and then how you can shoot a game at any arena. When we shoot at the ACC, we have two spots open to us. We have a down ice hole position and a position upstairs that's the same angle that you would see on TV. One of the advantages of shooting downstairs is you're shooting at eye level. So any kind of collision between two players looks very dynamic. And because you're shooting at that same eye level, it gives you a unique view of the game. The cons of shooting at ice level, the play moves very, very quickly. And as you heard, there's some dangers involved too. Sticks come through this hole and pucks. That clearing attempt by Ryan Miller went right through one of the photographer holes and struck one of the photographers in the face. And that's why Ryan Miller's over there making sure he's okay. Good for Ryan Miller. How, how classy is Watch that? Watch this. Right through. You know, guys work at that at practice and they have a game doing that, but no, they never hit it. Well, not with a photographer behind it. Just well, in practice they do it. Steve Russell from the Toronto Star, your moment. Oh, Look baby. at that. Oh, he's got a dandy. He's going to be wearing a mask back there from took, now on. Took one for the team there. Wouldn't Everybody gets their 15 minutes of glory, and there's his. Ow. When I shoot from downstairs, I use a 70 to 200, and this covers me from about the blue line into the net. Down ice, I use a 300 F4. What it allows me to do is to stick the lens through the uh, hole a little bit, and it gives me a view all the way down the ice. The cons of shooting down here, the play is so much quicker. There's linesmen, there's other players that get in your way. And if you're not on your game, you might shoot through half the hole. When you're at your arena and they don't have holes cut for you in the glass, here's a couple of little tips about how you can work around it. One, wear something dark. Because if you're shooting through the glass, the glass is gonna reflect whatever you're wearing. So the darker the color, the better. The other thing you want to do is you want to look around on the glass and find a nice clear spot. You don't want to be shooting through stuff like this. It's important to keep your camera as perpendicular to the glass as you can. Any kind of motion sideways will give you some wonky effects. The exposure I use when I shoot hockey, well, try not to get hit again here. I'm shooting an ISO 3200 at about a two thousandth of a second at f2.8. Try to shoot everything wide open. It gives you that nice shallow depth of field, but more importantly, it gives you a high shutter speed that allows you to really freeze the action. If you can't find a clear, clean piece of glass to shoot through, let's go upstairs. The pros of shooting up there is that you can cover a lot of the ice, and because you're using a long lens on a big ice surface, the game slows down a little bit for you. And you're not moving as quickly as you would downstairs. You can also shoot both goals unobstructed. And you can also see both benches. I like to use a 400-2.8, although if the game is close, I like to switch to a 300-2.8. That way I cover a little bit more of the ice and I'm able to capture that winning goal. Some of the cons, when the Leafs score, everybody in front of you stands up, raises their arms to celebrate, and we can't do that because we cannot block all the TV cameras that line this during a game. A couple of the advantages you might have when you're shooting this at any other arena and it has an elevated seating position, is you won't be nearly as far away from the ice. You also have to adjust your exposure a little bit because you're shooting down on a big sheet of white. So you have to go with a manual setting to make sure that you don't blow away your whites and make everything else go dark. Let's go shoot some hockey.